Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. You sleep good? Yeah. All right. You want to go get Kinley? Yeah. All right. Oh, good morning, Kinley. Good morning. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. I feel like a rapper here. Brady is vlogging for me, right? Yeah. Are you doing a good job? Yeah. Welcome back to another video. Today is Saturday morning, and it's an exciting video for Brady because, guess what, Brady? Today, we're gonna be eating everything you want to eat today. Is that exciting? Yeah. Well, what do you want to eat for breakfast to start off? Uh, eggos. You want eggos. Out of everything you can eat, everything. You want eggos? Yeah. Nothing else? <laughs> okay, then you get eggos. High five. <laughs> High five. Yeah. Uh -oh. All right, kids, it is ego time. So I fear this video is gonna be exactly like Kinley's video. Uh, are you gonna pick different foods than Kinley or are you gonna pick the same foods as Kinley? Yeah. Okay, you don't know the question, are you? Here's you an Eggo, here's you an Eggo, and this is Daddy's Eggo because it has no butter on there. So I'm really hoping that Brady picks some different foods other than what Kinley did, but I don't have high hopes. So last time we had strawberry eggos, this is blueberry eggos. What one do you like better? Do you like strawberry or blueberry? Uh, blueberry. Blueberry? Yeah. yeah, the blueberry is pretty nice. But I think yeah. I like the strawberry better. Oh, and I forgot to ask Brady the most important question of the day. Can daddy have coffee? Yeah. Hey, can? Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, we took care of that. So after that very small breakfast and coffee, uh, I want to give you a little life update. We moved Kinley upstairs uh, with Brady. Well, not in the same room as Brady, but upstairs because the new baby will be going downstairs, I guess, in about, what, eight months or so? Like six year, months yeah. after the baby's born, uh, we move uh, the baby to its own room. So that's going to be in Kinley's old room. So Kinley moved upstairs to the smaller bedroom. She went from having like a massive uh, suite to uh, this smaller room, but it's perfect for her because all she does is really sleep in here. And Shelby decorated it pretty nice. We've installed uh, this light fixture right here. It's like a chandelier. Really and what's cool it. about it is it turns into a fan and not just a light. So the fan blades are like hiding until they come out. You gotta turn and off the light or something to see it. Light? it yeah, and I was like, now you can see it actually. <laughs> Oh, and then it changes colors. And Shelby put some flowers up on the wall here for design and she did this whole wall pink. And then of course got her crib in here. She put some, I don't know, uh, shelving over here with some books, paintings. Got her dresser over here with the changing table. And yeah, it looks like a nice little girl's room. And then the camera because we're always watching her. She's always been watched. And so that completes the tour of her bedroom and then she has a little bathroom off to the side over here. And then we have all the rest of the stuff that was in her room uh, that needs to go downstairs in the guest room. We just don't have anyone to help me move it. We have the loop school that needs to go in the garage and we have this uh, queen size bed in the middle of, <laughs> what room is this? The game room, loft, I guess you'd yeah. say, the loft. And all these boxes over here that needs to go somewhere. These are all baby's clothes. Uh, that was in her closet and stuff. And then we have the movie room in there. But we just got a lot of stuff that we need to get done before the baby gets here. Uh, but I don't have anyone to help me move this stuff. And I don't know what I'm gonna do because Shelby can't help me right now. And her mom can't help me because her mom is like smaller than Shelby is. So I'm not really <laughs> sure what we're gonna do. But somehow all this has to be done in the next uh, month or so. Bubbles, yes. Don't, no, don't touch. Okay, or just keep touching when I say that. That, that bubble. Yeah, yeah, that's that, 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 that. <laughs> Okay, so now we're outside gonna wash Shelby's car. Most of the time I would not wash this behemoth 
of a car, but the last two times I've gotten it washed at car washes, it gave this car like really bad swirlies and stuff, so it looks terrible. Kenley, no more soap. But it gave it really bad scratches, and so now I'm gonna be washing this car, I guess, all the time, because I don't want any more scratches. But the good thing about this car wash, look how dirty this is. So this is gonna be so satisfying. I don't know what happened the other day. I think it rained dirt in Austin. Because it rained the other day, and then I looked on the car after it rained the next day, and it was this dirty. It went from being clean to like dirt. So I don't know what happened. Apparently there was a big, what, dust, dust storm. storm that came through and then it rained. And so it just like caked on just mud on the car. So this is gonna be so satisfying to clean. All right, so we just walked in from cleaning both of our cars. Brady's got a little bit of an attitude right now. I don't know what his deal is. Today is not the day to video with Brady, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's just complaining about every single thing. So, now it is lunchtime. Brady's gonna pick what we eat. What do you wanna eat for lunch? Um, mac and cheese. This is gonna be like the exact same video we did with Kinley. <laughs> what one? I want all mac and cheese. You want mac and cheese? Yeah. You want mac and cheese. Out of all the food that you can have, you want mac and cheese. Yeah. How else can we do this video where we can know. choose we gotta, options? We need a spinning wheel. We need a spinning wheel or something because the kids eat the exact same food. Out of every food that you want, that you could ever think of for lunch, that you want mac and cheese. Yeah. So as I was up there making mac and cheese, Brady decides he wants something else. <laughs> what else do you want? Uh, uh, um, <laughs> mac and cheese. What? My head's gonna blow. You you said you don't want mac and cheese. What do you want? You want spaghetti? Yeah. That's what you want? Yeah. You want, you want spaghetti, yeah. not mac and cheese? No, mac and cheese. Okay, so now we're gonna have red sauce uh, pasta. Is that what you want? Yeah. Okay, you better not change it again. <laughs> It is time to eat Daddy's famous <laughs> pasta. Does it look good? Yeah. So I added some meat to mine. Shelby had some taco meat over there that I threw in here, which is just turkey meat with taco seasoning. It should be pretty good with this pasta. Give it a taste, Brady. See how Daddy did. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Is it pretty good? Yeah. I haven't had just plain red pasta in a very, very long time, but this is gonna be great carbs for my leg workout today. Mmm. It's good. pretty good. Yeah, Daddy did real good at his homemade recipe, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> I want more. You want more pasta? Yeah. That's your third serving. Is Dad's pasta the best? Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm gonna eat all of them. You're gonna eat it all? Yeah. <laughs> this is like the third take, and Shelby's killing me. <laughs> Shelby, just record. You don't have to do much, you just have to hold the camera. <laughs> Not killing you. Okay, so we're done eating. Brady ate for about 30 to 40 minutes. He loves daddy's pasta. So, I got my shorts on because like I said, it is leg day. <laughs> and these are my favorite shorts. I want to tell you the brand, it's ZV. I don't talk about them much here on YouTube, but I do tag them in all my Instagram posts. The reason why these are my favorite shorts is because they have the built-in liner. And for leg day, that is a must because I love having uh, the built-in liner when you're doing leg press and stuff, especially with like shorter shorts because they always come up and I don't want to show that much leg. I do want to show some leg because these are shorter shorts, but I don't want to pull them all the way up to here, you know, when you're doing leg press and stuff. So. Pre-workout I'm taking today. I can't really decide what one I'm gonna take today. And I've been getting some people asking me, uh, <laughs> shh, shh, get out of here, kids. <laughs> so, people have been asking me what pre-workout should they buy because for years I talked about the Shatter Elite and this has been my favorite pre-workout for years. But, Muscle Tech came out with Euphoric. 
and this is a very high stem pre-workout like Shatter. Now it does have a little bit lower dosage than Shatter because Shatter has a 20 gram scoop and then Euphoric has a 17 gram. So a little bit smaller. So of course the Shatter is gonna be higher dose. They do have pretty much the same ingredients, but Euphoric has a different type of caffeine in it. This has something called Infinity. So it's a lot of science built into it, but they like pull some kind of molecule out of the caffeine and it's not like true caffeine. It does feel a little bit different and that's the reason why I like Euphoria. It doesn't have the same uh, like crash that regular caffeine has in it. So if you were to switch over, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed at all in Euphoric if you wanna give it a try. Now I do think well, I don't think, I know, that they perfected the flavoring in Euphoric because it does taste better than the Shatter Elite. I do like the Shatter Elite, but Euphoric just has some amazing flavors. And my favorite flavor that they have is the Icy Snow Cone. This stuff is amazing. And then my second favorite would be the Watermelon Candy. So if you wanna check out any of these products, you can scroll down to the description box, use code ABLE, and that'll save you 15%. Even if you find another code that will save you more, still use that link because that will support me directly. And I'd really appreciate it. So now let's go kill some legs. Welcome back to another commentary. Let's go ahead and get started with this workout. So the very first exercise is leg extensions. I did five sets of around 15 to 20 reps. Now I use the leg extensions more as a warm up for this workout. So I didn't go extremely heavy and I didn't do my typical like double drop set on the last set. I just did straight sets for those 15 to 20 reps really trying to get as much blood in the quads as possible before moving on to the next exercise. And it was like the heavier compound movement, which was hack squat. Five sets of around 12 to 15 reps. And when I'm saying I hit failure for those 12 to 15 reps, I mean it. Like I did not do any more than 15 reps and didn't get any less than 12 reps. So I'm going to complete failure where I'm not able to get up even another rep. And that's how I work out all the time. A lot of people say don't push yourself to failure because it's just too much on your body. Me personally, that's how I've worked out my entire career. And I think that's the reason why I look the way I look being natural is because I push myself that hard. And as you can see, I'm going super deep on these hack squats and I'm using a band and what the band is great for, it kind of relieves a lot of pressure off of your knees at the bottom of that movement. So if you have knee pain, I would recommend putting a band on a hack squat or even a Smith machine squat. And you can even use it on leg press because it will kind of relieve that stress on your knees at the bottom. After that, went into pendulum squats. I did four sets of 12 reps. And the pendulum squat, if you've never used one of these machines, they are super, super heavy. As you can see, I'm only using 45 pounds on each side. And all I can get is 12 reps because after doing the hack squat, I'm telling you, I'm burned out. And this machine is just so, so heavy. You're able to go super deep, which I love but you can't do a lot of reps on this machine with a lot of weight. After that went into one of the hardest things of the workout. I know most people would think it was the hack squat or the pendulum squat, but no, it's a superset. And I superset leg press into walking lunges. And let me tell you, it was a killer. So I did four sets of 15 reps on the leg press. And then for the barbell walking lunges, I went for around 10 to 12 reps on each leg. And when you do a superset, you don't rest in between exercises. So you're going straight from the leg press into the walking lunges. And that's what makes it so so hard and during this workout I was resting for around 90 seconds in between sets that is a big factor when it comes to working out as far as how long you're resting if you're resting for around two minutes you're gonna be able to lift a lot more weight per set and if you were only resting for around 45 seconds to one minute then you're not gonna be able to lift as heavy right now I'm in the off season so I'm not really trying to keep my heart rate extremely high through my workout so I will rest a little bit longer you know 90 seconds to even two minutes per set but when I'm trying to lose a lot of body fat and stuff I will tend to lower that and kind of keep my rest periods lower so that my heart rate stays elevated and another reason why I don't rest as long during a prep is because I do a lot of cardio and my cardiovascular strength is just so much higher uh, when I'm on a prep because when I'm in the off season I do cardio just like two to three times a week and so I'm out of breath a lot of the times when I get done with a heavy set but when I'm in prep I do cardio cardio all the time. So my cardio strength is just really, really high. So that's the reason why I don't have to rest as long. After that, went into lying leg curls. I did four sets of around 12 to 15 reps. And then on the last set, did a double drop set. After that, went into calves. I did leg press. I did four sets 
of around 12 to 15 reps. And then on the last set, just did a single drop set on the leg press calf raise. After that, went into seated calf raises. I did four sets of around 12 to 15 reps. And then on the last set, just did a single drop set. But guys, that's the end of the workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to give this workout a try, it'll be written down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so back home from the workout. It was a decent workout. It wasn't the best leg day. I did strain my jaw for whatever reason. Yawning. Jaw? Jaw. Yeah, not my legs or anything. My jaw. Because when I do legs, I get so like, I don't know. I guess I don't breathe correctly like I should. Because after a set, I don't know if you guys ever have this problem, but I just yawn constantly after doing like a really heavy set. And so when I was yawning, I don't know what happened, but my like jaw like cramped up, it was really bad. So I was sitting there for like a couple of minutes like moving my jaw and it still feels like it strained a little bit. It's so weird, I've never had that happen after all these years of working out, never had it. But anyways, now, he's still in a bad mood. I don't know what's up with this dude. Now he is going to pick what we're gonna be eating for dinner, right? Okay, what do you want out of all the foods out there in this world, what food do you wanna eat for dinner? burger. You want to eat a burger? Yeah. A burger. Yeah. Over everything else. That's actually really surprising. That is surprising. Earlier and he told me fries. pizza. A burger and french fries? Yeah. Okay, so that's what you want to eat for dinner? Yeah. Wow, that's actually yeah. really, really surprising. I thought for sure he would have been picking pizza. Can I stuff but on the I guess scooter. it's burger and fries. Oh, I got I got You're stuck? Oh. What goes on in this house is, I'm telling you, it's amazing. I don't know how we're going to handle a third yeah. one. Yeah. You just said burgers. Pizza. What? You just said burgers. Pizza. I'm so confused with what you want in life. Okay, so now, pizza. Brady's saying pizza. You want pizza over a burger? Yeah. You don't want a burger and fries. You don't want a burger and fries? Uh, oh, pizza. You want pizza? Yeah. That's your final answer? Yeah. Not Promise? a burger and fries. Yeah. Promise? Yeah. Okay, now we just switch it. So Kenley goes, really? she knows what she wants. When she said something, she wants it. Brady is like, like every time we turn off the camera, he's like switches what he wants to eat. So you want pizza? Yeah. What kind of pizza? Uh, pineapple. You want pineapple on pizza? Yeah. <laughs> what else? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing else? <laughs> just pineapple. He picks off the ham. Okay, you don't like the ham? No. Okay, well, we can go get pizza then. I will go too. You want home? Oh, yeah. He's gonna go too. <laughs> so before I go pick up the pizza, I do need to know one more thing. Come here, Brady. What do you want for dessert? Oh. What do you want for dessert? Uh, you can have any kind of dessert. What would you like? A uh, cookie. You want a cookie? Yeah. You want a cookie for dessert? Yeah. Anything else? Nothing. Nothing else? Uh, cookie? Nothing. Okay, then you can have a cookie then. Okay, well then that's not much of a plan out. <laughs> okay, now Shelby's gonna face. She said she wants a brownie. <laughs> Brady, where are we going? Uh, pick up dessert. Dessert? Yeah, we're gonna run in the grocery store, pick yeah. up dessert, and then go get the pizza, right? Yeah. Let's go. Cookie. All right, Brady, you can pick anything you want. What do you want? Uh, chocolate. Uh, that's black and white cookies. You got brownies. Oh, you got more cookies up here. What do you want? So you don't want those cookies? <laughs> okay, he's switching it up again. He put the cookies in the basket and then he decided he didn't want those cookies. Okay, what cookies do you want then? You want to try those? You want the M&M cookies? Yeah. All right, well, put them in the basket then. Final decision? That's what you want? All right. Show mommy what you got for dessert. What is that, Brady? Chocolate chip. Oh, chocolate, chocolate chip. It's M&M cookies. M &M cookies. M &M. Yeah, it's a lot of cookies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what we're That was the about. smallest one they had. Out of all the desserts, wow. Brady picked the M&M &M cookies. Did he do good? Well, we gotta eat pizza first. So the pizza of choice is of course Domino's. That's all we ever get. And Brady's favorite is pineapple, right? Yeah. You love pineapple pizza. So the only difference that I got that they have 
I add chicken to my pizza. Oh, by the way, if Shelby's not in this video, it is not my fault. I would add her, but she did not put on any makeup, so she does not want to be on camera. Stop! <laughs> and another thing I was gonna tell you guys, we have to get deep dish. The thicker the pizza, the better for our family. We do not like any of that thin crap, none of us. Uh, we like the really thick, this is what, pan pizza is what it's called? Yeah. Pan pizza from Domino's, and it is amazing. <laughs> so we're done with the pizza. Now it is cookie time. We're gonna give Brady's cookies a try. Rate them out of one to 10, right? Y'all get one. Stop getting me in the <laughs> <laughs> All right, try one out. Is it good, Brady? Yeah. You didn't even taste, taste it, it yet. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It is? Kenley, yeah. what do you think? Is it really good? Yeah. All right, store-bought H-E-B cookies. Mm. It's not that bad. I would say out of 10, oh, mm, six and a half. <laughs> not the best cookie, of course, but for a store bought cookie, not that bad. Good job, Bray. You picked well. Yeah. We'll be eating on these for two weeks. So now it's bedtime for the kids and Shelby got them all ready for bed because I was watching some UFC tonight. John Jones is back in the UFC and I'm so excited to see that fight later on tonight. Of course, that's not gonna happen until like 11 o'clock right now. It is almost nine o'clock, so a little bit later bedtime because uh, I was watching the UFC. But kids, tell my vlog good night. Good night. Good night. Say bye. 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 Thank you, Brady, for picking out everything we ate today. Cookie you did such a good job. Pizza. Pizza, yes, okay, pizza and cookies. Good job, Brady, high five. So now that the kids are off to bed, I'm gonna be finishing the night off watching UFC, and that's gonna be until probably 11, 11.30, because those fights go super late. And we gotta get up pretty early tomorrow, Not nothing too crazy, but we do have to go to church tomorrow, and we got a lot of stuff going on uh, that we need to get done tomorrow. So I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed these topic videos. I wanna continue doing more like topic videos instead of just regular vlogs. I know some people like the regular vlogs, but I do like having some kind of topic Topic. Uh, so that's the reason why I've been doing uh, everything that my kids have been eating. Next we need to do Shelby, but I don't think we'd eat anything because she's a girl and girls can never pick what they want to eat. But Shelby is pregnant right now, so she might actually pick different foods, right? Maybe. Can't get her on the camera right now. <laughs> She's hiding right behind me. But now I'm going to end the video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys. Peace. Just hold it up. Can you see Let's me? Do it. Can you see I, me? Yeah, I can. You can? All right, here we go. So after that little breakfast and coffee, a uh, little life update. New Kinley upstairs. New Kinley upstairs. <laughs> hey, let me let me record. Let me <laughs> let me record. I just love having the liner and the short. I've been having people ask me. I have been having people ask me freeze. I'll have <laughs> is the candy is the watermelon candy. Kenley, please. Okay. Hang on, Kenley. I think they just Kenley, stop, please. She's over there tooting. And I'll see you guys next time, alright guys. Peace. Peace, Kenley. Peace, Kenley. Good job. Peace.